When you're dealing with a reluctant home buyer who is worried about purchasing a home, today I have Diana with MBS Highway with me to discuss how you can help home buyers, home sellers, first time home buyers, your clients and customers in Creek Falls navigate the very complex questions surrounding buying a home today. Should I buy? Should I sell? Should I upgrade? Should I wait until the market cools off? A lot of what we do at MonitorBase centers around helping our clients find more buyers and sellers. But once we identify them, the work has barely begun. I think I say this every time, Diana, MBS Highway is amazing because one of the aspects that you guys do so well is you condense lots of data and complex situations to easily understandable information that you can convey effectively. So you're taking that information and you're making it something that just about anyone can understand, really highlighting what's relevant and helping people ignore what isn't relevant. So it's a gift, truly. And going back to the topic, when, when we see these kinds of questions, we're helping loan officers find these people to talk to, but the yellows have to navigate this very difficult conversation and help these clients answer these questions. So I love some of the tool sets you guys have just focused around this particular topic, you know, whether that's the cost of waiting analysis, or like today, we wanna to talk about the bid over asking tool to help home buyers navigate that question of, should I buy a home today? Or what are the consequences of waiting? Um, and so with that, Diana, I'm super happy to have you on the call. Thank you for joining. Um, always great to talk to you. Thanks, William. And yeah, we have a lot of tools we'll be going over. We'll be making subsequent videos on the cost of waiting, the MB estimate, loan comparison, so many others. I can't yeah. even name them all right now. But today, let's take a look at the buy versus, uh, excuse me, the bid over asking price tool. So when we take a look at MBS Highway, after you get your monitor base alert and are ready to sign in and start using this tool, you're going to come under the real estate tab and use the bid over ask tool. What I did was entered in an MLS number and clicked search and notice that it pulls in all the information for me for this home. So we see that this seller that's in this home now paid 460,000 back in July of 2004. That home's appreciated greatly to today to around 800,000. That's what it's currently worth. That's what it's on the market for. And this customer in order to win this home has to come in $30,000 above asking price. And I mean, listen, who wants to come in at asking price? Never mind above asking price. It's our job as loan officers, as mortgage professionals, and as realtors to help our clients understand that even though you might have to come in a pretty significant amount above asking price, it is going to be a good investment depending on how long you're in the home. So after a couple fields of input, we'll click results. And right off the bat, we'll see that if this customer has to come in $30,000 over asking price, it's only going to take them seven months to break even from that. And on top of that, we really want to put it into the most easy to understand terms for our clients. Show them what that means in dollar value. Yes, we know we're going to see about 5.18% appreciation each year for the next five years. That equals out to about 30,000, excuse me, $230,000 in the next five years. And that $30,000 over asking price, that's only 3.7% of the value of that home. So really, we've made that back in the first five years and then much, much more. And to kind of compare it to what we've seen historically, historically in this county, we've seen a 5.96% appreciation rate for the last 62 63 years each year. So we're really pretty much right in line with that. But of course, we're seeing great strength moving forward. And then at the bottom, we'll show you graphically since the last sale of that home to how it appreciated to today, what the uh, bid over asking price is, and then what the appreciated values are. So you'll see graphically as well, you'll make that back in the first year for seven months specifically, and then some. And of course, if, since it's MLS integrated, we'll pull in all the photos of the home for you. Like I said, we pull in all of the inputs. And the best part about this is when you're ready to share this, you can co-brand this with your referral partner. You cannot, if you decide not to, you can even uh, export this as an image and put it on social media. We see so many of our subscribers take an easy tool like this, or maybe even the real estate report card, buy versus rent, cost of waiting, whatever it is, throw it on social media and say, hey, take a look at this great report for Discovery Bay, California. Send me an address, a zip code, and I'll pull in a custom report card or bid over asking price tool for you. But look how beautiful it is with your co-brand partner's information on it. It'll give them a lot more referral business too and bring some right back your way. Listen, you can hand your business card out to as many realtors and referral partners as you want, but you have to be providing value in order to get some business back. And we want to reciprocate and you know give them the same kind of business. But most importantly, we want to give them the knowledge and the tools to help them do their job.
So overall, I think if you use not only monitor-based alerts to know what's happening when you get these triggers, but also have the platform to create these reports. Log into MBS Highway right away and create these pieces for your clients and then use them to, get again, gain more referral business and provide value with anybody you're talking to. I love it. And truthfully, these clients that we're dealing with today are in a scary situation. And I think it's useful to step back and reflect on what was happening a year ago or two years ago or even three years ago to the fact that you were having this exact same conversation with people at those times. Should I buy? Should I wait till the market cools off? And anyone who chose to purchase a home last year or the year before, it was likely the best financial decision they've made in their life. For most people, that's just simply the case. And that is really what you're helping people navigate and a lot of people are afraid. Um, it's just this sense of not knowing what is going to happen in the future. And we're in such a different market than I think people have uh, compared us to. Uh, I love what Barry's talked about related, you know, comparing 2008's market to today's market and how they're just so drastically different and, and the inventory situation and really I don't know, I, I think my favorite thing that I've seen him present is you don't have to forecast the future. You can go and look at how many people were born 31 years ago, see exactly how many new homes are going to be needed. Um, and, and obviously he does a much better job conveying that. But I love the reassurance that he's able to give us as originators, as people in the mortgage industry, and how you can pass that on to your clients with data, with information, with a presentation like this tool. So. I really appreciate your, your going over it, Diana. Thanks, William. And we're excited to see you guys on MBS Highway and Monitor Base using both platforms. Thank you all. I appreciate it.